Hi everyone, this is Emma Karinyu here and welcome to my channel. For this video, I want to do a battle between my utmost favorite setting powder and a setting powder that I just read so much good reviews about and I was recommended by it as well. And along with wanting to try something new. These two setting powders are my Too Faced Peach Perfect setting powder this product itself has been in my life for almost a year now and i still have so much left and the other setting powder that i was recommended to is the derma blend professional loose setting powder and both of these are in their translucent shade the peach perfect uh, has always had a sort of a pink undertone to it but it doesn't really show up on my face but however this one i was told that there was no flashbacks no white cast um it was used for baking it was used for weddings and all i really need is a good setting powder to last me through my work days or even throughout the day i am very oily and i get oily fast and I know I have I don't really have high expectations for products um, as far as where it claims that it's mattifying or it's a 16 hour longevity. All I need is a little bit more of a mattifying longevity throughout the day. It doesn't like I'm going to get oily regardless. You know, like I have never found a product where it just doesn't just, there's like not one oil speck in my face for like the eight hour duration like it's it's impossible for me so like i said i have very low expectations when it comes to um you know like over exaggerated claims i just i just need me a go-to you know <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i basically apply my makeup on a day-to-day -day basis okay so as far as skincare, I've already done all of that. I've already let the stuff absorb into my skin. Now I'm just going to prime it with my favorite. I guess it could be a half favorite video. But this is my go-to. Go-to primer of all time. I've tried and I've purchased so much primers. Different primers. And this is the one that I just... I'm just amazed by it but this is the Dior um, backstage face and body primer and this is in their universal one it has like this lovely scent and it doesn't really irritate my skin so the two foundations that I have been using for quite a while now is the Il Maquillage I woke up like this foundation and the Too Faced Peach perfect um comfort matte one so i use quite a bit of the il maquillage the il maquillage um it's an okay foundation um it like it'll do you know it's very decent um the peach perfect now mixed with the peach perfect it is like a match made in heaven i love Mixing these two, they just work so well together. And I'm going to use the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer just to cover up the problem areas in a perfect world all the imperfections will be gone <laughs> and this is what this concealer puts me on for my second concealer so i just do one dot not four dots or whatever and i just blend 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 Okay, so I'm going to skip all of this um, eyebrows and eye stuff. I will be using the powders now. So I'm going to go off with Peach Perfect on this side of my face. 
and the derma blend on this side of my face and my favorite brush to use for powders or face powders is my it cosmetics um this is their kabuki brush i think this is why i just i last so long with products is because i use like so little um i don't use way too much so i don't like my i don't like a cracked skin i'm just gonna swirl that around lightly tap and then i okay so i only powder certain parts of my face and that is i start from here and then straight from here because that's where i put my bronzers And now for the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder, the moment of truth. Ooh, it comes with like a puff thingy. Let me put this down. Yeah, for those of you who don't have this product, it comes with like a little, um, it's very like cheaply made puff powder. I don't know if, maybe I'll use this someday. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using my own brush. And I just want to show you guys like how... Holy crap! That thing disappeared. It's very soft and silky and it just kind of absorbed to my skin. Usually fast absorption products for me is kind of like a... Like is it going to settle onto my lines if I have any? Anyways... Let's just put it on the face. Okay, so far, I don't really see a difference on as far as like the smoothness or anything like that. I'm gonna shake up a little bit more. Dust that on my nose. And on my upper lip. Oh my god, I get so oily on my upper lip. It's disgusting. <laughs> Okay, so, ah, my earring got stuck. Okay, so, so far, so good. Very minimal differentiation. You can't see it on camera, but this side right here, the two, the Peach Perfect side, has like a, a slight pinkish tone to it. Um, it's not very noticeable, but side by side with a clear translucent one, I can see it. That's crazy. Okay, I don't want to stare at myself for way too long. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I've also upgraded on my bronzer. I switched from Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer close to my heart. I hold that very dearly. But now I am trying something new. And this is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker in Sun Island Ting. And it's such a luxurious product like whew, i cannot believe i'm i have this you know like i saved up for this man um so i did put powder on the on my cheekbones and it's just a little bit easier to blend on the derma blend side oh my gosh you can see yourself <laughs> this is so cool all right now for the real test I will be wearing this throughout the day and do little check-ins with you guys. I don't really have any plans for today, but let's see what these powders can go through with me. Um, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'll check in with you guys here and there, like I said. And yeah, BRB. Hi guys. Um, this is not a check-in. I just wanted to kind of tell you guys how much I'm loving this finish on both of these like everything just settled and okay this is very irrelevant but um okay bye guys okay i wanted to do the back camera of my iphone so um you can see the textures and everything a lot more clear and then this is the peach perfect side I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it is collecting a lot more um, oils on the Peach Perfect side. Whereas to this one, it's still pretty matte. So I'm going to do another check-in after this one. 
and then i'm gonna end this video probably but um, i'll see you guys later again i am back for a final update it is now 7 30 i believe and i can't check the phone my or i can't check the time with my phone because i'm using my phone to record but um it's been on for about seven hours seven and a half hours and this is the, the result of the two powders side by side once again this is the Too Faced side and this is the Derma Blend side. So we're gonna head we're gonna go ahead and take a look at both sides with a good mirror. <laughs> okay. I can't tell a difference. I can't tell that big of a difference between the two sides. And so I'm sure the camera won't be able to tell the difference between two sides. So I just would like to kind of, I guess, conclusionize this whole video. Um, I mean, they both look the same. They really do. Um, I do have a lot more oils right here on my nose area. Let's check. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely a lot more nose. Um, nose oil <laughs> that sounds gross um on the Too Faced side so yeah no difference on the forehead it looks the same um i don't know my makeup right here near my jawline um my makeup looks a little bit a, a little bit more smoother than on this side maybe that's the foundation maybe that's the powder I'm not sure but that's what I'm kind of noticing and I'm literally like nitpicking at every detail here it was really hot out today I live in Georgia and it's pretty humid and the heat is coming back so I was outside for a little bit and and yeah these two powders got the taste of you know the everyday heat here so not much of a difference I mean if it's to say that I am going to try something new, I'm definitely keeping the Derma Blend, and um, I will be using that after I am done with my Too Faced Peach for Perfect. So I don't want to like try to go hand in hand with them. Um, I'm never going to be able to finish the Too the Too Faced. So yeah, that concludes my review between um, my favorite powder and Derma Blend. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys would like to see more of me and these types of videos please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video